Hey there degenerates and welcome to another video. I thought in this video we would explore some of my old save files both from my physical games as well as some games that I used to play on Visual Boy Advance back in the day. So without further ado let's start the video. Alrighty so the first save file we're going to have a look through is from one of my favorite games on the Game Boy Advance and that is the one the only Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. Now this wasn't my first Harvest Moon game. My first Harvest Moon game I played was Harvest Moon 3 and me and some of my friends at school we used to just stuff around on the school laptops just playing Harvest Moon. However one of my friends one day swore off of ever playing Harvest Moon again because he went to go water his turnips and accidentally cut him with the scythe, restarted his game, did the exact same thing and all just because I laughed at him for it. He said he hates the game and he'll never play it again. But I say that's his loss. All right, let's see what secrets this save file holds. So year two, okay, I've, I've done better than year two before, but at least we're halfway through the year in summer, kind of heading towards halfway through the year. Uh, El Rancho, I always call my farms El Rancho. Um, Big D, I no longer go by that name anymore. I've grown up a little, I guess. Not really. Um, all right, so I got the double bed. Um, got a lot of stuff from the kitchen. So I got the full house extension. Let's check some stats. All right, so got 122,000 gold. That looks like that's not bad. Uh, got, that looks like pretty much most, if not all of the apples that increase your stamina. Uh, so I've got my dog Bear, who's won the championship. Bear was named after my old dog. Uh, got Flash, the horse. Such a creative original name for a horse. Uh, so max chicken feed, max cow feed, max wood. Uh, no, I'm doing not too bad. Eight chickens, two cows, three sheep, and 60 recipes. Uh, what else we got here? So, all right. So, list of chickens. So, Chicky. Chicky absolutely adores me by the look of the things and has won the championship. Same with Ying. Uh, got Yang. Good old KFC and Red Rooster, of course. Cluckers and... Wait. Uh, got another chicky i don't know why i've named two chicky and then finally naturally has satan spawn uh okay now two cattle so got good old steak and chips and moo moo who's pregnant and unhappy why are you unhappy moo moo well screw you uh sheep we have bar amu lamb chops and hustler yes like i said i've grown up a little not much but enough to not call one of my sheep hustlers all right the harvest spirits oh well okay um the harvest harvest spirits seem to really like me i kind of was expecting that they would have been annoyed with me i would have overworked them or something but looks like i've been taking care of them so that's pretty good um so earnings okay so this month i've spent more than what i've earned so that's not good probably uh that would have been it's summer so probably bought some pineapple seeds we'll have a look we'll afterwards we'll look to see what i'm growing in the field if i'm growing anything um tools maxed out nice um yeah let's go outside um all right so they look like they're tomatoes oh yep there's pineapples there's my makeshift chicken fence um so i don't have to feed chickens they can just eat off the ground and corn for chicken feed then i'm not feeding the chickens oh look there's some harvest rights hard at work 
Um. Yeah, so it looks like I was coming along alright. I've done. I mean, I've done a bit less than I thought I would, but at the same time, a bit more than I thought I had. So, not bad. I think I'll stop playing this this actual um, copy in oh, probably about 2009, maybe. I think I, I started playing Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town in 2007 when I was at Tate. So, I think I only played this one a couple years and stopped playing it for a while, then... Uh, bought a copy off at of Etsy, a fake copy off at of Etsy, and yeah, been enjoying that since. Alright, we'll leave this one here. Ah, uh, just listen to that music. Doesn't it just bring you joy? Now, yeah, this one is, of course, Pokemon Emerald. The save file is corrupt. Thank you very much. Yes. All right. So my old Pokemon games, I used to call myself Ash because I was a degenerate myself. Um, so let's see what this one has to offer. So I reckon I'm in the Battle Frontier. Yep. I remember that was the last thing I was doing. I was trying to get through the battlefront here and see what party I had with me. So they're all level 50, so I must have been doing something in one of the towers. Um, yeah, this is really great entertainment. Me struggling to remember stuff. All right, let's see what Pokemon I've got. Alright, so I don't think I had any shinies um, back when I played this. I didn't really know what a shiny was. Um, I, of course, in Gen 2, got the shiny Gyarados, but I just thought that was part of the story. And then I got a shiny Nidoran. Can't remember if it was male or female. Um, and I just thought that was a glitch from the shiny Gyarados because it did the same sort of sparkly thing. So Game Freak didn't really do a good job of letting us know what a shiny Pokemon was and how special it was at the time. But, um, yeah, no, this is just, oh, nah, that's not shiny, that just looks different. Um, yeah, no, this just looks like an average playthrough of a 14 to 18 year old kid. Nothing hidden away here anywhere. Nah. Uh, let's check. Let's check my Hall of Fame. The data is quite perfect. Um, this has been moved from computer to computer, so it's probably lost track of what it is. Uh, all right, got a bunch of the stones in the box here. I uh, got my PP up. Love having my PP up. Especially when it's PP max. Um, let's check if I got anything in my bag. Anything special? Do I have the Master Ball? Well, that'll probably be in the ball section. Uh, yep, there it is, the Master Ball. Can use it to go. To a different generation to catch Mewtwo. I was going to say a better generation, but I probably would have got hate for that. So lucky you guys don't know that. That's what I think. I'm just kidding. This was a fun game. Very different at the time. Um, it was good that Emerald came along to make it so you could catch pretty much all the Pokemon. Whereas Ruby and Sapphire was Masuda's first attempt at limiting how many people can, or how many Pokemon you could actually catch in a game. Um, yeah, I think that's all there is to this one. Um, I'll chuck on Ruby next, actually. Let's have a look through my Ruby save. All right, so here's my Ruby save. Even less Pokemon on this save file. Name is Ash again. Um, 
What's that? 59 hours into the game? Really? Uh, let's see who I've got with me. So, yeah, good old Blaziken. Groudon. What's Mighty Anna holding? That's probably his pickup ability. Oh no, Silk Skull. Um. So you can I get to the There it is. Let's see what we got in the box. What's in the box? In the box. What's in the box today? So good in this generation where it doesn't have to save to be able to look through your Pokemon. That took forever in Gen 2. Okay. Pretty average. Pretty much the something you'd receive if you bought it from game traders or EB games or something. No, I managed to get both of them. Surprised I knew about both of them. I've probably seen a trainer with both of them and thought, I want that. Yeah, nothing really spectacular in this one as well. So, uh, let's jump into the red and blue remakes. Alright, so here we are with Leaf Green. I played Leaf Green because I thought, well, I already completed red version, so let's try green. Yeah, safe, I'll grab, blah, blah, blah. All right. So, eight badges, 151 Pokemon. That already seems sus. Uh, this is on uh, Visual Boy Advance. So, it's not on an actual cartridge I've played through. Um, all right, blah, blah, blah. And I saved in my bed like a good little boy. Um, Alright, firstly, let's see what monsters we have with us. So, oh, I nicknamed these ones. Oh, from memory, I think this was a legit shiny. Yeah, well, as legit as a emulated game can get. Um, yeah, I remember I was uh, looking for Jigglypuff and this bad boy came up. And at this stage... I did know what a shiny was. Um, let's, let's go to my box. I reckon the PC is going to be very interesting. I can't think how I would have got Mew. Let's just go to Viridian City. On the road of Viridian City! You're welcome. Um, alrighty. Alright, Mew Pokemon. Okay. So that Mew too looks legit. There's a bunch of unknowns. Can't even remember where you get unknowns in this game. Alright, so... They, those colors just mixed. I thought I saw a shiny. Um, yeah, no, maybe this is a. I reckon. I know what this is actually. I reckon I did a Game Shark code to just get the Pokedex number up to 151. I don't think I caught 151, that's for sure. Especially you can't track. Well, back then you couldn't trade in Visual Boy Advance probably can nowadays um yeah i'll leave this one here nothing really interesting like they're just the average pokemon you'll get through a playthrough two snorlaxes is that those moltres articuno and mewtwo um i reckon i gave up around the sevi islands i just i wasn't feeling the sevi islands I did a bit of the story there. I reckon I did the game shark code for um the special event tickets. But 
yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at my trainer ID. But yeah, this playthrough isn't legit at all. Let's just have a quick look in the bag. See if anything stands out. Yeah, not really seeing anything. Um, I only got one Master Ball, so I didn't cheat Master Balls in. Ah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, let's leave this one here. And with that, that's the end of the Generation 3 Pokemon games as well. All right, now for the next save it is none other than the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. All right, that's enough of that. So I got this game for my 13th birthday and I remember a couple of my friends were jealous that I had that. I never got Oracle of Seasons, I only got Oracle of Ages. Um, and I loved it at the time. But to tell you the truth, I cannot remember much of the game now. Um, so we got the save files here. So Nora, that's my sister. So that looks like that's her save file. Looks like she played a little bit. Um, and then there's my save file. So I reckon I've done a fair amount of it. I've got most of the hearts. Looks like I'm two off, two short. Um, so yeah, 999 rubies uh level two sword uh oop, that's the map there we go the inventory so yeah level two shield the level two power gloves got my seed satchel and my, my other satchel yeah honestly <laughs> i don't remember much of this game um looks like i'm in a dungeon i reckon i'm towards the end of the game I remember I loved doing the puzzles, loved doing the dungeons, loved the little animals, companions. Um, yeah, it was a really good game at the time. Still is a really good game. I really should do a playthrough of this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that, actually. But for now, on to the next game. So here's another one I don't really remember much about. Seems to be the theme for the day. Uh, it's Bomberman Tournament. Um, don't know what really to say about this. I got max gold again. I got a fair amount of hearts. Um, I remember when playing this, I used to play this one at school a lot and I just enjoyed it. It was fun. It was different than the regular Bomberman games as it had sort of a semi open world to it. Um, looks like I got a lot of the different unlockable bombs. Uh, now I remember something with these little monster guys. You could like train them up and they did stuff and bangs. I can't quite remember what though, so apologies to anyone who's mega fans of this game and you just see me confused as fudge trying to work out my old save file here. Uh, but judging by the parts and the gold and I don't know if that yellow means that they're actually maxed out with that stuff, like level 70, level 60. So I reckon I'm a fair way through the game. Um, as for where I am, oop, I'm doing a thing. Um, yeah, as for where I actually am in the game, I'm not quite sure. It's another game I should go back and play. Uh... Yeah, can't even work out how to enter the door. Um, yeah, so leave a comment if you want me to do a playthrough of this game to refresh my memory. Oh, yeah. Now, this game with this fine jazzy beat 
is Herbs, Sims in the City. Now I discovered this game just after I graduated from school. So I had all the time in the world to play it and boy did I take all the time in the world to play it. From memory, yep, I did absolutely everything possible in this game. So I chose a female character, don't know why. Named her Mia and let's get into it. So yeah, here we are in the penthouse. Uh, I've got, um, what's her name again? Hey, Misty Waters living with me. Good old Misty, the water Pokemon trainer. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got every unique item, did every possible mission. Um, really set out my apartment pretty well. Ooh, got a pinball machine. Look at that. We're living life. Oh, and I got a puppy. Hello, puppy. Uh, so what do we got here? So, yeah, they're all the, all the goals and missions and done all the special gangs. I guess you'd call them all their special missions. Um, yep, there's all my items. Picked up <laughs> everything I found on the ground. Uh, got the lamp, got the key to the city. Um, popular with pretty much everyone. I don't think there's anybody that doesn't like me. Um, yeah, it was an absolute blast of the game to play. I definitely would want to go back and do another playthrough of this because it was just so fun. Oh, there's my hoverboard. Nice. All right. Oh, I'll leave this one here because otherwise I'm going to start wanting to play it again. And finally, as a special treat for you degenerates for sticking around to the end, I'm going to give you a look into my perfect save of Pokemon Crystal. Now, a couple years ago, I decided I was going to change the batteries in all my Pokemon games and get them working again and do playthroughs of them to get all the Pokemon. And then I was going to eventually transfer them into Pokemon Yellow and then into Pokemon Crystal to have perfect save files for those two games. Now, for this particular game, it all started when I did some RNG manipulations to get my trainer ID to be my birthday. Yes, I am that old. Deal with it. Then I did some little, little bit of shiny hunting and got this bad boy as my starter. Didn't take that long considering the odds of getting a shiny in this generation. It's only, I know, about a week of shiny hunting. And yeah, then I did all all the possible little stuff you can do in this game, including getting Buena's phone number, which you get by playing her daily password game every night at the gold golden rod tower. Almost said golden saucer. That's a different game altogether. Um, and then here's the Pokedex with all 251 pocket monsters obtained. Uh, so for Pokemon like Mew, I got Mew in Pokemon Blue by doing the Nugget Bridge glitch. And then Celebi. Celebi was a bit different. Celebi is probably the only Pokemon that's not legit in here. So to get Celebi, what I did is I've got a little Game Boy cart reader that I use to back up all my save files. And I backed this file up towards the end of the playthrough. Got onto Visual Boy Advance, done some cheats and managed to get the GS Ball event to work. And in turn, that got me Celebi. Um, and to top everything off with this playthrough, I 
managed to get a living Pokedex in the PC, which I'll now show you. So the first box here, Battle Box, they are what I used in Pokemon Stadium. So I also completed Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 for these playthroughs. Um, yeah, in Pokemon Yellow, I have the ones that I use for Pokemon Stadium 1, and these are the Pokemon that I use for Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, there's my party. Then, yeah, a Living Dex and all the other boxes. So Pokemon like Squirtle, Charmander and all that, I just got them from the first Pokemon Stadium game to save some time. Same with Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, um, and also Omanyte sent him over so i didn't have to do multiple playthroughs to get different ones which i kind of did for a lot of the other pokemon but yeah everyone's here there's ducks from pokemon red um and everyone's just chilling all 251 of these bad boys just chilling in their box oh and also i'll just quickly show you i got all the unknowns as well and i got them alphabetically just to add a little cherry on top so that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching if you liked it hit that like button if you didn't like it well screw you i guess have a good day